February 1st, I told you, it goes quick. New month. And let's have a, hope January went well for you. We'll have to a good start. And I'd like to read from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, beginning of verse 21. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him and stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward and see him fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors many, and had spent all that she had, yet she was not helped but only grew worse. She heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloaks. She said, if I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of, of affliction. She was aware at once that power had gone out. Jesus was aware at once that power had gone out of him. Turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, you see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, who touched me? He looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear, trembling. She fell down before Jesus, and Jesus told her and told him the truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. Chapter 5 of, Luke, um, of Mark, one of my f favorite gospel chapters in all of, of the New Testament, and, especially, and this particular one here, and we won't conclude with Jairus' daughter. By the way, she was raised from the dead, but this woman of great faith, hmm? And he said, who touched me? The disciples said, what are you, crazy? Me? Who touched you? Look, look at the crowd. What kind of question is that they asked? Oh, you know. And imagine poor Jairus. His poor daughter is sick close to death. And Jesus stops. And he's looking around, who touched me? And Jairus said, come on, come on. We don't got a lot of time here. We, we got to go, buddy. Let's move, move, move. <laughs> All right, I touched you, okay? Let's go. <laughs> poor Jairus is panicking. He's panicking. But anyway, so she touched in faith. And I often wonder, what exactly does that mean? Didn't the others have faith? Seemingly they do. They pressed up against him. They followed him. What was so special about her that separated her from the others? I don't know. Was it no, but she didn't, didn't have any doubts, desperation. But we all want to touch Jesus. We all want to touch him. We want to reach out and have him hear our prayer. So we pray that we have that faith as woman of hemorrhage who was healed because of her faith. Lord, grant me just even a little bit of that faith that I'd be willing to reach out to touch you to be cured. God bless you.